Hello friends, welcome back to c -class tutorial. Actually, this is my third video. We have already discussed about the basic introduction of c -class. And the last day we discussed about how to connect with the database using c -class, right? So if you check, we have a database that is a blank database. Currently, we don't have any tables. And you don't need to create any table uh, manually, right? So in this video, we're going to discuss about that things, how model is working how to define models and how to create a table dynamically using SQLize. okay so currently we have a package.json so i don't need this close this and this is my index i don't need this so actually we'll discuss about the model so this is my base model so if you just check we have models folder inside here we are using index.js the SQLize is a orm for node.js application actually models are responsible uh, for database connection and database related queries okay so now let's create a model suppose i am going to create a model for user so simply just uh, let's create a model users dot js okay so this is my model and now i am going to create a definition for model and this will responsible to get data or insert data or create table of users right so for now i am using the sqlize connection and uh, we are just imported the sqlize so i want to import another things that is uh, the data type means actually when you create any a database or when you create a table actually suppose you are going to create a name right so name should have a barker or string type and email should have barker age should have number phone number so this is actually the data type so what is the data type of name that is string what is the data type of the phone number that is integer in this way right so so we can import the data types from here also so simply write here the data types okay so we are getting two things at one is sqlize another is data types and further we will use to create a table using these data types right and another thing we need some uh, variables to access the database related things so let's create a constant variable uh, that is db and i just uh, create a blank uh, json type data this is a blank object and i am using db dot sqlize so this is i am getting here and uh, we'll use the sqlize also i need these things also for uh, database so i am just adding into the db okay so these are added and now i'm going to create a schema of uh, the users table okay so let's call the users model from index.js okay so as we are have a same path that the inside the model we are using users index so we can easily call this so simply uh, just use uh, db dot users and uh, let's use uh, a require to call the uh, users dot js and we'll get users dot js here so simply write dot slash user js okay so simply we don't need to write as js just users is okay and i'm passing these two things sqlize and data types so just copy this and just pass to the users okay so now we will get these two variables from users okay so, so now just uh, go to the users and let's exports from the model so simply module dot exports so simply write exports and just export two things which actually i'm getting from here that is sqlize and data types so i am just taking these things okay and i will create a error function and from here i will define all the definition of my tables right so simply just to create a constant users okay so i will use this sqlize so simply just use sqlize dot define and i will create a table so my table name will be the users okay so i will i want to create a table which name will be users and let's create the definition suppose in my table we have a name so what will be inside the name so i just adding the type so my type will be uh, 
suppose uh, data types so my data types is data types dot string okay and i can set the length also so simply write 100 so this is my name and suppose i am going to create another that is email so i am trying to use uh, multiple types of things so that we can understand what actually um, what types of actual data types are there and we will discuss all the things so simply write type and data types dot string and this time also i am taking as 100 no problem and now i just want to use some date related field suppose in my database we have dob okay date of birth so that time we can use type equal to uh, data types dot uh, i can use the date only okay so in the date of birth we don't need the date and time so simply we can write uh, the date only okay and i want uh, this should allow true if anyone and uh, not uh, want to give the date of birth we can add this so allow null is true okay now another thing uh, suppose i am setting address sorry there is a mistake we need to use the colon and another thing suppose i want to add text type field suppose another uh, column name that is address and here i just uh, going to write or uh, going to create actually the um, text type data so simply write data types dot text okay so we don't need to write the length of the text and another things i want to add some enum type thing so that you will get uh, how enum will declare how enum definition so i just write is active my column name and simply write type uh, data types dot enum okay and i set my value for enum uh, that is if inactive then false or if active then one okay no problem so all are added so this is my definition so there will have one two three four five and the interesting thing another three column will automatically create that is id created at updated at. okay so let's see in my database kindly we have uh, no tables now i just uh, going to sync that thing so how we can sync this so simply just go to the index.js that is the model and here i need to sequelize sync right so simply use db dot sequelize dot sync so using sync we can sync my database so sync function okay now just uh, uh, refresh and here you can see my app is crashed why so sequelize dot define uh, that is not a function okay sorry i mistakenly added the capital sequelize uh, actually capital sequelize is importing from here so simply write this so i will pass uh, to the user model this sequelize and we'll use these things okay and let's see so i already using no demon so let's see so here you can see select table name information okay so i think it's okay and uh, let's go to the database and uh, refresh this so we are getting the users table where we have a columns so like name email date of birth address is active created and updated okay so all the things we get okay and this is the enum field and the backer 100 this is the date field this is the text field and why these are actually created and if i don't need this thing to create so how uh, to restrict to create this type of things so simply just uh, go to the code again and actually we have a second parameter we are using these things actually we can set another parameter here suppose if i don't want to uh, use this created at and updated at that time we can uh, use timestamps equal to false so simply write timestamps make it false okay so just i add it and let's go to the terminal so uh, it should change so right now refresh this and let's it's not changing because we already created the user stable so we need to sync forcefully right so we have another parameter suppose already created table i need to alter that time how can i do this 
So, simply we can use uh, another parameter force uh, true that means it will uh, forcefully sync the database so simply just go to the terminal and you can see uh, drop table if exist user and create table okay so let's check whether it's appearing or not so just go here we can see there is no record for kit and upgraded so simply now now my thing is if i don't want to make a full timestamp false i want only the created at not the updated at so how can i do this so simply just go to the visual studio code and let's here write updated at this is the my column name so update it at updated update at and just make it false that means it will actually remove the update that only creator is there right and simply if you want to add these things or you simply if you want to remove the creator at also so simply you can do in this way c r e a t t created at and it will remove the creator at. okay now i am uh, closing these things and i want the both things okay so created at and updated at so all are created now the thing is if i want to change the name of these two things suppose instead of created at i want created underscore at so how can i do this simply just override so simply created at or updated at so just copy this both two things created at and just write here created at means so what you actually want just write here instead of created at it will create so suppose if you write abcd then it will create abcd right and update it at so now actually we are using node one that uh, that the reason is automatically syncing and we are forcefully syncing so when we just refresh we are getting the output so we are getting the created at and updated at okay so this is the uh, definition now i need another thing suppose i just want to make the email as index key right so how we can do this so, uh, right now email is a normal string and it's barker and its default is null so i want to make the email is also index so how can i do this so in in this section in the third parameter of uh, this define we can define what will be my uh, indexes so we have a parameter that is indexes 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 and we can set using this so simply just write the fields so for which field i want to effect so simply write fields so it will be actually fields and here simply write email um email and make it unique also so, so simply write unique true okay so now just uh, see the terminal all are okay and uh, just go here and uh, again click on the structure we can see the email is became the index key and it will also unique means so when you just are going to insert some data suppose test at the rate um, email.com and write anything john and date of birth something no problem and address and is active one and uh, and for created at i just want to add uh, the time so simply write this and go so the one record is inserted now using this email id if i want to insert another record it will restrict that is duplicate entry for key user email right so it will not accept the duplicate key so it's make the unique key
okay so basically this is all all a definition of how to create a definition of any tables we can define in model and we can easily sync you right so if i just uh, make it false actually it will not affect uh, right it means it will not forcefully sync always it will check whether the table is exist or not if exist it will not do anything if not exist then only create right so actually that time this drop table if exist will not uh, run that time it will check if table exist then will not do anything otherwise it will create a table right so this is all about the model definition of SQLite and the next day we need to insert some data right so next day we will learn about how to create a model instance or object so that using that object uh, or instance we can insert some data into the database so these are the another uh, interesting video so hope you will like this video and please comment still if you have any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day